What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Sea Roll Productions. Next year is a massive year, you guys. Next year is a massive year for DC Films. I cannot wait. I am so excited to see what's to come in the future of the DCU and DC Films. Now, after the Snyder Cut, it's looking like Warner Brothers doesn't want to continue on with Zack Snyder and could tell, you know, and continue on telling his story and it's so unfortunate i'm still with hashtag restore the snyderverse because i feel like there's still so much story left to tell within zach's universe and you know what i mean if, if they do decide to be like yeah we're gonna continue it we're gonna do justice league two or three then i'm perfectly fine with that but if not we still have so much to look forward to we have the suicide squad dropping later on this year we got the official first trailer with that and king shark definitely stole the show. James Gunn is going to kill that movie. I'm so pumped for that film. So continue on into next year. Next year is going to be a massive year. We have the Batman dropping March 4th, 2022. Yes, the Batman. One of my, not one, the most anticipated DC film coming out. I cannot wait to see what Matt Reeves has created over there in that universe. I cannot wait to see how Robert Patton's going to deliver as Bruce Wayne and Batman. I cannot wait to see the star-studded cast. Andy Serkis as Alfred. Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle. You have Colin Farrell as the Penguin. You have Paul Dano as the Riddler. There's just so many elements to this film. I am so looking forward to you guys. The Court of Owls. Apparently the Waynes are evil. Like I'm all of that shit. Like I am so intrigued by. Really intrigued. When I mean the Waynes are evil, I mean that Thomas and Martha Wayne were apparently evil. You know what I mean? And they have some enriched backstory that we're gonna be, you know, diving deep into in that movie. That's gonna be care. I'm really curious to see how how true that is. And then you have Black Adam which just announced its new release date for July 29, 2022. Now, Black Adam within itself is going to be a massive juggernaut film. Of course, you have Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You know he is a cash grab. He is all about the money and making huge box office success. I mean, look at Jumanji. <laughs> look at the, you know, the, the, the amount of money Jumanji pulled off with that star study cast, but mainly because of The Rock. He's just a big social media influencer, and everybody knows Dwayne Johnson. Um, and then they, they just announced... The casting for Dr. Fate, Pierce Bronson is going to be playing Dr. Fate, 007. Really, really curious about that. I want to know why they aged that character so much. Um, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm being honest, I kind of would have went with somebody else, somebody a little bit on the younger side. But we don't really know, you know, the whole future of that particular character. We don't know if he's going to continue on. We don't know if he's going to die. Who knows what's going to happen with Dr. Fate. But a lot of people seem to be, you know, kind of in the middle with that casting. Um, but yeah, that looks like it's going to be crazy with the whole Hawkman and Cyclone and, you know, Adam Smasher. That's going to be that's going to be pretty interesting to see. And I hope it ties into Shazam Fury of the Gods because I'm very much looking forward to that film. A little worried about that film because it's supposed to come out 2023. And it hasn't started shooting yet, and the kids are getting older, so I'm really curious if, they can see if they're going to you know, do the whole de-aging stuff for the children. Um, moving on, you have The Flash dropping November 4th, 2022. Yes, The Flash. Now, I wasn't on board with Ezra Miller. Ever since I saw the Snyder Cut, kind of convinced me a little more. I was like, you know, I can get behind an Ezra Miller in a Flash movie. I can but I don't know if that Flash is going to be the same Flash in this universe because the Snyder Cut is in a different universe. Yes, it is. It's not canon to the DCEU right now. So I'm really curious to see how that's going to happen. Michael Keaton hasn't signed on to play Batman yet. Apparently, it's up in the air and it's not looking like it's going to happen. I'm a little nervous about that because I was really excited about that particular casting to see Michael Keaton come back and play Batman. is huge and massive. That's dope. Ben Affleck. It's coming back to play Batman one last time in that film. We all we all love Batflick. I mean, come on now. How could you not love Batflick and what he's done so far, you know, and, and BBS and um, uh, the Snyder Cut? It's just, it's so damn awesome. I love his Batman so much. His portrayal, his brute force, his, his strength, his presence is, is so scary. And I love his Batman. I can't wait to see him return. Um, and then we have Sasha, Sasha Kali. I think that's how you say her name. She's going to be playing Supergirl in the movie. Cares to see how that's going to happen. And, you know, it's just the whole timeline thing. With this Flash movie, it's it's really up in the air. A lot of people saying it's Flashpoint. A lot of people saying it's going to, you know, really switch things up in the DCU. You know, there's even rumors of, you know, Robert Pattinson's Batman could potentially potentially make a cameo in this Flash movie. I kind of don't want that to happen, to be honest with you, because 
I kind of want that Batman universe to be within its own self, its own entity. I don't need it to cross over with this DCU because there's already going to be how many Batman, you know, there's, there's no need for another Batman. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what, what happens with that. It kind of kind of sucks to see Cyborg's character cut from the script. And yes, he was. Now, I don't want to hear no shit. No, he wasn't in. Yeah, I'm, he was in the script. You know, with the whole stuff happening between him and, you know, Walter Hamada and, you know, they didn't want him anymore and they cut him from the script and, you know, they, they had to rewrite some stuff. But it's really unfortunate because after the Snyder Cut, man, the heart and soul, you know, Ray Fisher killed it, man. I cannot, uh, uh, it sucks. It sucks because they could have done so much more with this particular character and they're not recasting as well. And then you have Aquaman 2 hitting December 16th, 2022. Aquaman 2 is still a long ways away. James Gunn's going to be returning to direct the film. I loved what he did with the first film. I love the first movie. I mean, it's, it, it's still today the highest grossing DCU film. I mean, it made a billion dollars at the box office. Nobody thought it would make a billion dollars, but it did. So it definitely was a fun film. And I, I, I just really enjoyed it a lot. Aquaman's definitely one of my favorite films in the DCU. It was just a lot of fun. I love Jason Momoa. I love the whole storyline between him and King Orm and Black Manta. Like, all that stuff I want to see. I want to see, you know, Black Manta return, but even more stronger. Cut off Aquaman's arm. You know what I mean? There's so much, so many more elements I want to see in the sequel of Aquaman 2. Just a little nervous because Aquaman 2 is going to be going up against Avatar 2. We all know Avatar. Avatar is now the highest grossing film of all time, surpassing Avengers Endgame yet again. Until Endgame gets another release date, and then, yes, Endgame passes that. It's just going to go back and forth. We all know that shit. But I'm excited, you guys. The future of the DCU is very bright. It's very bright, and I'm, I'm looking forward to many more characters being introduced to the to the big screen for the first time. You know, all the characters that they're going to introduce, you know, in these up and coming films like the Suicide Squad and Black Adam. You know, these are brand new characters that have never hit you know the live action screen before. Um, other, and I don't count the whole CW bullshit, even if they try to do it. It's, just, ugh, it's not for me. But I'm excited, you guys. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the future of the DCU. What film are you most particularly looking forward to? Post your comments down below. Thank you for taking time in your day for watching Seal Productions. Peace.